Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Monday, May 23rd, 2022. It is 7.50 in the morning. We got Daniel's son decommissioning this Rude by Ream two stage, two compressor system. Let's, you've never seen that before no. you haven't been to uh the dock in the the doctors in uh, long beach we installed one of these after hurricane sandy he likes high efficiency stuff so when his second floor r22 base system failed the uh, last year he got himself a bosch hashtag love bosch ladies and gentlemen Today, we're in taking out this 10-year-old system and installing, for the first time in this application, we're gonna convert them from oil heat to heat pump, and we're gonna save them a boatload of money. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, let's go ahead inside, but, oh wow, look at this. It's a bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit, hi. Who's in the mood for a rabbit today? You're like a little baby rabbit. There's no meat on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. We have a decent attic here. Not much to stand on here though, but I got my Milwaukee light. We're gonna go over there and I could just stand up here. Oh, very nice. Don't you love it when they contractors leave like the attic like in total disarray yeah. it looks like a war zone here all right. all right so we got this giant rude oversized grossly oversized system all right so where's the power switch right there all right we need to find the circuit breaker panel all right we're gonna see we're gonna you're definitely gonna have two breakers that are 240 volts all right so ask the homeowner where the breaker is i'll take the non-contact tester and then we'll make sure we have power disconnected here all right there we got my knee pads on today we're gonna take out this wilder beast we're gonna take this bad boy out today and it's gonna be a nice tits job. I'm gonna try to put the light up here maybe so I could get better illumination. All right, I have my supply plenum disconnected. The blower assembly removed. I have my return disconnected. And you notice they have that field controls UV system. We're gonna uh, either maintain or upgrade that piece of equipment right there. Now, what's interesting about this, hi Daniel, is that they have a four ton system for a three ton house. Do you know one of the negative effects of oversizing a system, Daniel? It doesn't take the humidity out. Bingo. When you oversize a system, you're gonna have high humidity issues. Now, there are some people that are gonna comment that Mike, I heard that Bosch has problems with humidity control. I've installed a few dozen of these systems over the past couple of years, and I have zero complaints with humidity control. Perhaps maybe they're not installing it properly or they're oversizing a system. Another key disadvantage of oversizing a system is the system will short cycle, which means it'll get down to that lower temperature quicker, Again, not removing the humidity at the same time, but then turn off. And you're gonna have increased wear and tear in the compressor because you're gonna be short cycling. On, off, on, off, on, off. And that's not good. Okay, you have a question? Yes. I, I'm like Radio Shack, I have an answer. The recovery tank in your van. Yes. Can I use that? Sure. Okay. All right, while we're discon every disconnecting everything, this is a very nice retrofit installation. Um, I took the liberty and I marked my primary condensate drain line and my secondary condensate drain line for identification purposes. One line should be going into the gutter and the secondary or the emergency drain line, well, that's going to go over the tip of the gutter. And you tell the homeowner while you're 
finishing up the installation, going over everything, paperwork, etc. You bring them outside and say, hey, you see this pipe up there? When that leaks, no bueno. That means you got problems because the next thing that's going to leak is your ceiling. You're going to have water coming from your, from your ceiling and that's coming from the condensate that the air handler creates when it extracts the heat from the air. One of the primary jobs of air conditioning is not only to extract the heat from the air, it doesn't make the air colder, it extracts the heat from the air, but it also removes humidity. So humidity equals condensation once it's removed from the system. And we have three quarter inch PVC drain lines, which take it away. All right, while we're waiting for Daniel to recover all of the refrigerant in the system, let's take a look at the size difference. You know, physical size, dimensional size. That is just tremendous. <laughs> My God. Daniel, what do you think about the size difference between that and this? Like, it's like not even up to my kneecap here. And here, it's up to my, 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 my A cup. And it's very, very wide. Very, very wide. So, we're going to take out the disconnect, replace that. We're going to replace the pad. Or maybe we keep the existing pad and install the high-rise heat pump pad here. We're gonna remove the line set covers and replace that. We're gonna remove the line set. Even though it's 410A, I'm just doing a full job here. You know, the cost of the line set is, ins is insignificant in the total cost of the job. We're gonna put new covers on there. And if all goes well, we should be done a little after lunchtime. You like that, right? And don't worry, today on the way home, you're gonna stop by All Island Sheet Metal and you're gonna pick up all that that 20 foot of duct work for uh, the job, the other Bosch, the Bosch IDS 2.0 that we gotta finish. The job I was at on Sunday for an emergency service call. You know, people actually commented, it's like, Mike, you know, it's it's Sunday, you know, and air conditioning is not an emergency. They actually said that. I think air conditioning is more of an emergency than like needs. I agree. You know why? Because you can only take off so much clothes. You can always put more clothes on. And ladies and gentlemen, never use your stove to heat your house. We've walked into countless homes during the winter times where people are boiling water on top of their stove, their cooktop, they got the oven door open, and our Testo portable carbon oxide detectors going off because they're slowly killing themselves. Crazy, crazy. You know what's also killing themselves? Those Navians. <laughs> Yeah, so we are actually doing a complimentary visual uh, integrity safety check on uh, over 130 Navy and NRs, all the same building. And the first five that we saw, unfortunately, all had the same symptom, which is a hole in the heat exchanger causing water to leak out. Not good. All right, so while we're out here, there's nothing else I could do right now because we're still recovering. Uh, I guess I could bring the air handle up into the attic, but I want to take a few moments to just go over a few misconceptions and myths about heat pumps. And the first thing is, is that, hey Mike, you know, we're in the Northeast, Long Island area. You know, a heat pump is not going to heat the house in the winter. And that's false. That couldn't be more further from the truth. You know, while in the 1980s and 1990s, maybe that was true because heat pump models delivered lower heat output. But with today's modern technology, especially with that Bosch IDS 2.0 heat pump technology, inverter technology, that's a thing in the past. So for a primary source of heating, for the average winter days, which is generally you know, between 32 and 36 degrees, a heat pump is an ideal solution, especially if you have oil, heat, or even propane. Another misconception, quote unquote, heat pumps are noisy. I'm sorry, I've installed a few dozen Bosch heat pump systems, even Fujitsu's, you know, ductless mini splits. They are whisper quiet. In some cases, you don't even know they're on. So if you're thinking about they're too loud, or maybe your neighbor has a loud condenser, and you're thinking that, oh, you know, if I use a, a heat pump, I'm gonna just keep my neighbors up all night. 
That's false. It's fact. If your neighbor has a loud condenser outside their house, there's probably something wrong with it. You may want to give them a service call. Or if you have a loud condenser, you may want to call a service call. You may want to call them for a service call. And if you're in my local territory, give us a call. 516-348-6300. Or check us out on the internet at pipedoc.net. All right, next. Finally. Heat pumps are expensive to install. Mm-mm-mm. What do you think about that? If you think it sounds true, okay. Well, let's take into account that a Bosch, I, and we're focusing on Bosch, but it doesn't apply for any heat pumps. But if you take the Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce of heat pump, heat pumps in the HVAC industry, Bosch takes the cake. It takes the whole effing cake, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're out for a car, right, and you're buying a Rolls Royce, you're getting a Bosch in the HVAC world. Now. We are converting this this homeowner from oil heat to, to heat pump, electric heat pump. Now, let's say, and he doesn't have natural gas in the neighborhood, and propane, well, psh, forget about propane. If you factor in the cost, let's say we put in a more efficient, like, let's say a Viesman, a Viesman oil-fired boiler, right? And let's say we pair it with a perfect resting on top and indirect, a Viesman indirect. Will they save off their current fuel bills? Absolutely. But when you look at the numbers here, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see the true savings. And here are some examples. Fuel oil, right? An average $3,500 a year. Electric heat pump, $1,900. Natural gas, a little under $1,500. It's a no-brainer. With a high-efficiency heat pump, you will pay drastically less to heat your home than with oil. Plain and simple. Did you see those numbers, ladies and gentlemen? Did you see them? We have the cost, an average cost, to heat a home at 70 degrees in my locale at around, what is it, $3,800 a year. And you know that's, that's, that's far from the truth. It's more than that. And then you look at the cost of running a heat pump. And I'm not specifying, specifying any names with the heat pump, but traditional heat pump, almost half the savings, $1,900 to operate. And that's for a traditional heat pump. We're not talking about the Bosch IDS, high efficiency, the Rolls Royce of systems. So when you factor in, you have to buy new equipment anyway, right? And you look at the fuel cost savings, it's a no-brainer. You're only talking about a few years to recover your initial investment. And let's not even talk about rebates and other uh, incentives that are available to make converting to a heat pump that much more convenient and more affordable. All right. Now that all of that, like, knowledge, knowledge is power, is out of the way, let's get the show on the road. Stay tuned. We may even have a little giveaway towards the end. All right. Systems recovered. Daniel... What should we do for a contest, a giveaway contest in today's video? Obviously, we're gonna give away some Pipe Doctor Let's Go Bosch Summer 2022 t-shirts. By the way, they're available, link in the description box down below. You can buy them directly from me, Mikey Pipes, $23. I got them from medium to 3XL for you big boys out there. $23, and that's delivered in the United States. But we're also gonna have a contest, a giveaway. We're gonna be giving away not one, not two, but three Bosch Pipe Doctor Summer 2022 t-shirts. What do you think about this as the contest? What time keys are in ignition and the trucks are rolling? How about that as a giveaway? Yeah, it seems like it's kind of... People know how fast we are that we, we move with a purpose. So you want to have a different kind of giveaway? How about how many push-ups can Daniel... Uh, Daniel, Peter Pando, Peter, sorry. I think we, I don't think you can do one. You don't think you can do one? How about that? We're gonna have a two for one special, all right? We're gonna have a contest when we're done, how many push-ups Daniel could do, uh, Daniel, I keep calling him Daniel, Peter could do. How many months ago did I say as a company benefit, an employee benefit, a perk, you get free gym membership? 
It's been about a couple months already, right? And how many times do you think he's been to the gym? He's been free Really? So we're going to have a contest on how many put... Oh, well, how about a push-up contest between you and him? You'll definitely beat him? What do you think? Is that a good contest? Because we already know we're going to be done by 2 o'clock. Yeah, but... Yeah. 1 o'clock. But what, what's the guess going to be? What is the answer going to be? The closest without going over. Oh, closest to the amount of push-ups we get? Yeah. All right. Deal? Pretty good, yeah. Okay, guys. You listening? Guys and gals? That is the contest. And stay tuned because at any point during this video, that may be the actual live event during this video. <laughs> All right. We got the hand truck. Let's move this thing out of the way. Any of the service that wire, are we? Nope. It's just got the, uh, the Milwaukee M18 hacksaw. Now you're being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wire cut is right there. Now, once the condenser is free from the house, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, hashtag let's go Bosch, hashtag love Bosch. Shout out to my boy, Sal. Thanks for your support to the channel and the entire team at Bosch for being a channel sponsor. I don't know of any other YouTube channels that actually have manufacturer as a, uh, as a sponsor. Right? Yeah. I think I'm the only one. Even like HV, oh no, HVAC uh, Tech School, they got carrier, but that's more like an educational. I'm like, like keeping up with the Kardashians or the Real Housewives of like Los Angeles. <laughs> right? <Okay>. Keeping up with Mikey Pipes, A and E, and HGTV. You listening? I need a reality show. <laughs> what are we gonna say? There's another uh, guy. How about this? Tilt it all the way this way. way. Alright? Because the weight will be on top. No, 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 no. Just up and over. You close the service boards? Yes. Okay. Tip it all over. I'm going to land it right on the hand truck. Look at that. Keep going. Bingo. Bingo. Perfect. Alright. Remember, that's the heavy side. There's two compressors right there. Bye-bye. Peter, yep. how many push-ups do you think you could do before you pass out? We're going to find out because that is today's contest. Today's giveaway is how many push-ups can Peter do? How many push-ups do you think Peter could do? That's today's giveaway. Meanwhile, he's been going to the gym. 20, wow, just 25? I'm like a fat fuck and totally out of shape. I think I can do more than 25. Oh man, I just cursed, I'm sorry. All right. So let's be smart about this. You're gonna, there you go. Okay. This bad boy up in there. You want, you want to go that way? Okay, knock yourself out. Are we gonna clear it? Maybe. Uh, we should. No, not this side. You got a little bit of. Uh, you got room on on the left side. Yeah, hitting the, the cabinet. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna fit. I don't think it's gonna fit. We have to. We have to stand it upright. In the, in the erect status oh, like the old one was. What's that? I think it'll fit. You think it'll fit? Yeah. All right. Let's what if you push it back towards me and I push the bottom one? No, just... There you go. Great job, Daniel and Peter, the tag team brothers. You still don't have your, your summer t-shirt on, Peter. Are you, are you cold-blooded? <laughs> All right. Let's go clean the area, and let's go set the uh, the heat pump condenser. All right, the unit is gone, and here comes the the brothers. Here they come. I gotta somehow. No. Um. Um. 
to make it easier for me to grab because take that upper panel off the front the blower compa uh, compartment off this one? yeah because otherwise i have nothing to grab yeah take that cover off and i'll have something to grab there and we'll get it up here yeah we should the only thing i got to do is flip the uh the drain pan on the evaporator because we're discharging actually no where is it is it the bottom already what where's the drain pan or oh, the drain connections this corner right here oh perfect excellent i don't even got to touch anything beautiful beautiful love bosch love bosch you know i don't i don't get supply chain issues i can get bosch equipment within a week <laughs> oh all right we'll get this up there we're gonna put the drain pan on the on the uh, unistrut there and uh reconnect this bad boy it's gonna be tits all right excellent job there it is. So we have the drain pan up here already. We have the old air handler gone. Peter, you're gonna grab me back the uh, the staircase. I'm gonna slide this out of the way, put the staircase back up, and then we'll get rock and rolling with this air handler. Tits, tits. All right, I'm back up in the attic. Air handler is up here. I just took out the threaded rod and the kind off. I took a measurement of the front to back the depth of my emergency condensate pan and I need Kindle off that's 34 inches long or Unistrut 34 inches long. And my existing Unistrut is 30, sorry, 28 inches long. So not only are we gonna cut new Unistrut, but we're also gonna move the Sammy. All right, so I'm gonna take out the Sammy. I'm gonna put it on the other side of this because I'm gonna screw into here because I'm gonna use the existing threaded rod and I have a height difference because otherwise I have to cut new threaded rods. So we're gonna take the Sammy's from here, put it on the other side. Same thing with the other one over there. All right, so right about there. Full penetration. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm gonna take this threaded rod that was here Right. and reconnect there all right emergency condensate pan is in i got my outlet right here in the front for the emergency drain this is the goliath pad uh the 30 by 62 made by rector seal comes with a uh an electronic float switch which i actually hate because you, i need glasses and you can't read <coughs> excuse me the instructions See? Nothing like a, a standard mechanical float, just like a ball cock in a toilet, you know? I got my level on there. I know I should be using a bigger level, but I do have good pitch. Actually, I have even pitch. M level. We'll make some adjustments once we put these little vibration pads on the Goliath pad, and then we set the air handle, which is behind Peter. All right, let's get the show on the road. All right, we got real lucky with the duct work. Here's my supply side. I use my angle grinder and I cut a little triangle here, All right? Look at that, it's nice and perfect, All right? And then I was a little bit longer, so I took my little hammer and I just bent that over right there. And then we're gonna take some mastic tape and seal that up. And if you look back, even up close, that does. That looks really nice. That looks really, really, really nice. Really nice. A little bit of a bend right there. Really looks tits. Very, very nice. Because alternatively, we would have to fabricate a new piece, transition piece, from the air handle supply to the ductwork supply. But that looks really nice. And our... Return plenum fits like a glove, perfectly. 10 to 10. There's our line set. It's ran all the way to the air handler. Air handler is ducted in. I gotta do power. I'm gonna turn the fan on. How you doing? Fine, good. Good. I'm gonna do the line set and then 
Someone can help me put the unit. Thanks. I'm here. Tired? No. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. It's hot up in that attic. You need a breather. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love water. Water's good for the soul. Aquapana? No, it's full. Okay. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> um... On, on the newer installs that we do with the Bosch, we actually add surge protection. And the device is right below the disconnect. So it's guaranteed for, I think, five years. No, what is it? I think it's six years. Six years? They, they'll, they'll warranty the equipment itself that it's connected to. But after that, we'll just warranty the part if it goes bad, ever. Okay. So you've got six years, surge protection, guaranteed coverage from Rectoseal for your Bosch. So if you get like a power surge or anything, you're protected. Okay. All right? Because the circuit board that's inside there is $2,000. Even though you have a 10-year parts, uh, parts warranty, you don't want it to go. Yeah. So if we can prevent that with a small investment, it's well worth the price. We got the new covers there. There's a line set, 7 8 and 3 8 new control wire. And hopefully we're done in a few hours. All right, our line set is in position. I'm now gonna work on the electric. And ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna give you a little bit of a friendly advice. Wear knee pads. I'm 45 years old and I should have did this a long time ago because my knees hurt. So wear, get yourself some good knee pads. I think I'm gonna get gel knee pads. This is just a hard plastic. It's got gel inside, but the back just kind of like hurts the back of my, back of my knee, but it's better than, you know, kneeling on a screw and then you have messed up for the rest of the day. Uh, let's take a look at this wiring here. Um, this is my 240 volts coming in, right? And they took, I thought that was a 240 volt field controls ultraviolet system, but it's not. And they just, they just really hacked this together. And I was going to repurpose that with the new system, but I am not going to wire it in the way it was. I can see that there's a plug there. So I think it's best to skim a 24 volt system, but that's just gonna be decommissioned. So I got my new outlet box in place. I got my double pole single throw switch for 240 volts. We're gonna take our Romex and connect it right here and then do our low voltage wiring to the condenser and then from the thermostat. How you doing, Peter? Are you doing good? Yep. You should buy some knee pads. Yeah. Good idea? Yeah, you should buy some knee pads. You and Daniel should buy knee pads. I think Daniel already has. I use his old ones. Yeah, but you should get some. Buy yourself some knee pads. Or I'll buy them for you. Because uh, you get hurt in the job and your knee, knee, knees, get, knees get messed up, yeah. you're not going to be happy, you know? All right. Let's start wiring this bad boy up. I'll show you some tips along the way. We're going to use some Wagos. I think I had a Wago here. I don't know where it is. There it is. A little Wago. Glorified wire nut. This is the Wago 221. Two conductor. Wire connector. Thing's beautiful. So let's get the show on the road. All right. I have my switch wired in. 240 volts. I just brought the wiring straight from... The electrical compartment right to the switch that avoids another potential failure point uh, here is the reference guide for the wiring now we're not using white white and black and the gray so i have them all wire nutted just as instructed cap and seal the unused wire off to the side so we're not using that it's not being used for hydronic heating at all we're strictly using it for a heat pump now i have a three wire Wago connector on Y1. I'm going to put one on Y2, another three wire. I got a five connector Wago on my red, also on common, and a two on green. All right, and you'll see in a minute because I'm taking Y1 and Y2 from the thermostat. Y1, Y2. So I need another wire going to the condenser. All right, we have an old Honeywell. I think it was a 9000. 8,000. 8,000. 8,300. TH 8,321. 
So, our brown wire is gonna be repurposed for O and B, which will do the heat pump. So let's take off all these wires. Mm -hmm. All right, the only wire that was gonna switch is that we're gonna take the white wire, which is not being used, and that's gonna be used for second stage cooling, or Y2. Cool? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take that and just put that on top of the padded envelope. Now, so here is our wire going to our air handler. Peter, let's cut these off. Let's make this all nice and new. And we'll start over from scratch. Oh my God, they put enough thermostats here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> all right. Now we'll cut a little bit off of that and then strip it back a little bit. Okay. We'll just cut, you know, cut the insulation so that we could strip off the, the wire the jacket of the wiring. Fortunately, they had six wire, six conductor. It's an art, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I've only done it with Danny's uh, wire strippers. Let me show you a trick here. So, you wanna try to, this is not the right tool for the job, but you just wanna like get in there and yeah. like, like that. And you're gonna see how you see a little bit of the exposed wiring. Mm -hmm. That's all good because we're gonna take and strip it back like that, mm -hmm. all right? So all these now are, are new. And we're gonna cut that right there. We'll take all this and we'll just cut that right there. Now, let's try to clean this up a little bit. We have. Did you get the nest wall plate? Dump, yes. dump, dump. Yes. Okay. Let's just there. Okay. So now this nest wall plate. Look at that. It covers it up like like butter. That's very nice. Now nest also gives you. Let's say there's a metal box in there. They also give you this. All right. So you would put this there. Actually, we can actually use this anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna finesse this, all right? Mm -hmm. This is gonna go there. That is gonna screw into all of those, all right, like that. Mm -hmm. Like that, see? We just gotta get these mounted to the wall. Okay? Mm -hmm. Wall mount is on. The base plate for the nest is on. Let's start wiring. So we have R. We're gonna have Y1. We're gonna have OB, which we'll do for heat pump. G is fan. B is common. And the white, we're gonna make Y2, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take the red wire and it's gonna go to RSC. That's 24 volts cooling. Okay, let's just see if I can get the rest of that in there. Make it look nice and pretty. Even though no one's gonna take the plate off ever. Now, the white, we made Y2. The yellow, we made Y1. Okay. The green is fan. The brown is OB, and that's for heat pump operation. It's a reversing valve. And then the blue becomes our common, right? There it is. And even the little fake level is dead center. All right, it is 1035. What a gorgeous day. Beautiful day. And what a beautiful, sexy Bosch, by the way. Hashtag, let's go Bosch. Hashtag, love Bosch. Please, guys, let's show support to the corporate sponsor of Mikey Pipes Pipe Doctor channel. And let's show them support. Hashtag, love Bosch. Hashtag, let's go Bosch. All right. Daniel, I have the air handler running. I have fan jumped out. We have the thermostat, the new Nest thermostat wired in. I am going to give you Y, right? I'm going to give you common, 
C, and I'm gonna give you OB. Now, you have a bunch of wires there. Obviously, we have common is gonna be blue, Y is gonna be yellow, and we'll make the, yeah, whatever you wanna make it the white, make the, make the white heating, OB? Yeah. Okay, yes. very good. And it's B, I believe. So you don't need green, you don't need uh, red. Oh, I like your bends. I think you know what? And you remember the installation, the armor flex. Hey, congratulations, Daniel. Peter, he finally remembered to keep the armor flex on the line set before he connected them up. Look at that. By the way, that is a very, very sexy 90 and a sexy almost a 45 right there. That is what we call tits. Tits. Very nice. And there's that two thousand dollar control board, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're using the one hundred mm white line set cover. It's very, very nice, UV resistant, and it really does a nice look to the job. All right, and if we have to, we can pull the condenser out a little bit so it squishes in there. All right. You ready to? Can I wire? Oh, you didn't wire low voltage yet, did you? No. All right, so we'll wait for that. I'll be... So we'll wait for you. Okay. So we'll let you wire low voltage, and then uh, we'll uh, wire that up on the air handler. We have to do condensate. We have to do the connection inside for the line set. We have to vacuum down, uh, decay tests, commission the startup. So Very nice. Uh, true blue They're in the shop. It is what it is. We have backup. Okay. I decided to be a little different this time. I labeled my outdoor, my outdoor, my exterior cabinet wiring. So this is the thermostat. All right. It goes along into here. And I also made one thermostat. This is my con uh, condenser. So, so whoever comes in here, they know that this is condenser, this is thermostat, and I use my Wago. So green is fan, the brown is common, the red is 24 volts, the yellow is Y1, purple is Y2, and the blue is OB, heat pump. All right, so now the it's all, it's all in there. Now we can go to the thermostat and program the thermostat. Okay. English. Confirm your choice. Let's do equipment setup. I am a pro. At least I think I am. <laughs> Incorrect settings will cause unexpected HVAC activity or equipment damage. Continue. We're going to skip this step. I learned that the other day. Okay. We have Y1, Y2, G, OB, RC, and common. They're all good. So let's do done. So we have two-stage heating, two-stage cooling. Good. And do you have the Nest app? Yeah. Okay. Let's try that again. Take two. They didn't see take one. But it said the Nest couldn't connect to the app. So now it's thinking. And it's still thinking. What's it thinking so much about? It's looking for Wi-Fi networks. Oh. That was a cool little time lapse. Literally, it's like about an hour has passed. You know, we're gonna go into overtime. <laughs> How long does this last for? It's Wait. normally, oh. It's gonna say something dumb to me, like, I'm sorry. There, there's a glitch in the system. <laughs> yeah. is down. The network cannot be accessed. Look at this, come on, Nest. I say this all the time. Nest is marketed to the people, not to the contractor. It's a, it's, a, it's a cool little thermostat, but I don't need something learning what I'm doing. If I want to turn the heat on or turn the air conditioning on, I want it to go on. Yeah. Like the hold button on the thermostat, right? Once it's on, it's on. Say, and it's still doing that dumb sh ship. I'm trying to be family oriented for Bosch, you know? I'm trying to be the next Mike Holmes. You know, H you know Bosch as on HDTV is with, uh, look at this again. It could be added to your account. So I'm trying to be more family-oriented, PG, PG-rated. So uh, 
we'll save the cursing for the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. Link in the description box down below. Nice little plug to the other channel. <laughs> Just in case you're not sure, you get 10 seconds to uh, decide whether or not you want to abort the transaction. <laughs> so now we're going to reset the nest and hopefully it'll work. You know what? I th you know, if he didn't have all these other nests in the house, I'd be really inclined to give him the Bosch Wi-Fi thermostat. I've never seen that. Oh, it's tits. Sure. It's tits. Let me show you what it looks like. Google. Yeah. I like Google. Oh, yesterday was payday for me, by the way. Google. <laughs> AdSense, you know, from YouTube monetization. Uh, nice. It's nice. You know? And the haters... In the hallway, press to test. Oh, no. Maybe maybe that has to be, like, blue. I don't know. Sometimes oh. I like, turn the other one on. I don't know. The G. The spinning G. G money grip. A lot of theatrics. Like the eco beat. It looks cool. Let, give me some time while I spread my wings. All right. Nest app. I guess we have no choice. Add to your account. How about not now? Okay. You can add the nest to your thermostat later. Next. Let's do the internet connection. That's, that's my, that's my cool I'm thinking maybe this nest is jacked up. Because it, it can't connect to a network. It doesn't find any networks now. Hmm. Interesting. Peter, this is like waiting for water to boil. Yeah. Tedious. Like, <clears throat> not exaggerating. I think maybe like 15 minutes already. Mm -hmm. If it was a regular like Honeywell or like a White Rogers, you know, uh, Sensi thermostat, would it have been done? Yeah. But I think there's a glitch in the system. Back in the day, remember AB? Ever, ever watch the old school videos with AB? I don't think so. Oh yeah, well there was something, there was a glitch in his system. Oh. Like Sippy Cup. There was a glitch in his system as well. Oh, you do, you, you've told me that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the good old days. All right, I kind of gave up on the Nest. With the Nest Connect. Oh. All right. Maybe Daniel won't forget that this time. <laughs> I won't. Nice. So the thermostat is connected. All we have to do is the line set, vacuum down, condensate, commission and startup. Awesome, 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 awesome. See what I did with the wiring? I labeled everything. I go over there. Oh, nice. Yeah, tits. I'm thinking maybe if like the... Uh, Robert Bosch actually watches this channel. Maybe he'll consider making me like his Mike, Mike Holmes. Is that the CEO? I believe. Or he's the founder. I don't think he's around anymore. But I was told to keep the channel rated PG when I talk about Bosch. So I'm trying to be nice. And if I make this look like a really nice tits install, then maybe, just maybe, we can take this whole nother level. I know what's going to take this take this to the whole nother level, is that when we conquer the entire East Coast of the United States, and every home has a Bosch heat pump system in it, and you, when we think about these AOC freaks, you know the Green New Deal, they want to get rid of natural gas. Yeah. You know, I think it's I think it's inevitable that eventually, you know, renewable energy is the key. It's just that we can't go from fossil fuels one day and the next day go to renewable energy 100%. You ha it has to be, you know, like uh, you, can't, you can't run before you can walk and you can't walk before you can crawl and you can't crawl before you're born. Our electricity comes from fossil fuels anyway right now. Our electricity comes from fossil fuels? Yeah. Yes. There are power plants scattered throughout, you know, um, Long Island that run on Natural gas. I don't think there's any coal plants left. That's only on Sim City. Hmm. We could buy a coal plant for your city, you know? Yeah. I don't know. You never played Sim City? I don't play no. that. No. Uh, it's nice. Very nice. I was contemplating putting the surge protector in here, but this is not that complicated of a board. Is it an ECM motor? Yes. I was wondering, because that house that I just replaced the ECM motor on. Oh, on a Friday night? Yeah. Was she happy? She's very, very happy. Did she give you a tip? No. <sighs> but, damn it. A, when you turn on the AC, the whole house 
flickers and lights. Oh, the co the condenser. If, like, you know what you could you know. A toll on the ECM do you know what you could try to do to to try to uh, compensate for that? Start capacitor. Yeah. Oh, look at Daniel. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Because I told them that we could do a star capacitor on the condenser and we could put surge protection on the unit too. That would that would, the, the star capacitor may make that go away. May. May. You have to be like an attorney. When, you, when you're in this business, right? You have to use choice words. You can't say, oh, it's going to work. And then when it doesn't work, what are you going to do then? You wasted your time. You wasted a part, which is now a used part. You can't put it back in the truck and sell it as a new part. It's a used part. Like, remember that, that Russian guy, the contractor in that house we did all the radiance yeah, in? With the fans. With the fans. He's like, oh, yeah, you, they're brand new fans. Like, no, they're not brand new fans. They're, they're used. They're, they're, no, they're used. We never used them. They're very loud. I was like, so you turned them on already? They're used. If they're out of the box, not only it's... were they used, but he just ripped them out of the ceiling. I know. Even like unscrew them. I know, but it's all right. You know, his boss is a Russian oligarch, and uh, listen, if that's what he wants. That's what he wants. By the way, hashtag love Bosch. If you're interested in any T-shirts, we're gonna have a giveaway at the end, at towards the end of this video. And if you paid attention, it's gonna be how many push-ups Peter can do. But if you're interested in any t-shirts, they're available in medium to 3X. Link, um, not link, um, details in the description box down below. They're not subsidized because Bosch never paid me for the last set that I gave away for free and just paid for shipping. Are you listening to me, Bosch? You owe me money. Show me the money. Send me my big fat check like Rakuten. You know about Rakuten, don't you? No. Rakuten is the sponsor of the Warriors. Oh. Oh. You know what Rakuten is, though? Isn't it like a like a Poshmark almost? A what? It's like a online. I don't know. I yes. don't know exactly what it is. So let's say you go to Saks or Neiman Marcus, right? Mm -hmm. Dot com. You want to buy something. They may have like a Rakuten, like an affiliate program. So you click on the Rakuten affiliate link, and then it brings you to the website, and you get back a certain percentage off of the total sale. Hmm. I'd rather use. Um, I could, you know, you double milk the system. So like American Airlines has the called the American Airlines Advantage Shopping website, right? So you use, and there's a lot of websites on there. Mm -hmm. Amazon is not on there, right? So let's say I want to, you need to buy some dog food for my dogs, right? Let's say those pizzles. Pizzles are damn expensive, by the way. It's called, they're bull penis, by the way, in case you're wondering what they are, right? They are, seriously. <laughs> so you go... If you have the app installed on your browser, right, the Chrome browser, right, if you go to Chewy.com, it'll say, hey, listen, you can earn, you know, four points on a dollar that you spend here. You click here first. You click there first. It brings you to American Airlines Advantage website, and then it brings you to Chewy. And then all of a sudden, you, whatever you buy there, you earn four points per dollar. So now let's say I buy a $400 worth of stuff there. Four times four is 1600, 1,600 points. Let's say I use my American Express card to pay for it. I also get a point per dollar on that. So you double milk the system. See? And that's how I fly around the globe in first class. Fly in first class up in the sky. Glamorous. Oh, oh. Flossy, flossy. See? So, we're using the Stay Bright 8 by Harris Corporation. This is nice stuff. You should put the cap on. So you don't get any, any uh, cocky in there. There you go. All right. We're using uh, Stay Bright 8. There's the flux, and there's the solder. And we don't have to braze. If we're not brazing, we don't have to flow nitrogen through the system while we're doing that. And look at that. Nice, nice, nice tits. Tits. Beautiful. Love Bosch. Oh, yeah, he's going to blame it because he's too tired on the job. All right. So Probably. the question is, ladies and gentlemen, how many push-ups can Peter do before he can't do any more? I'm not setting a time limit, right, but until you collapse on the floor. And you just said that, well, it depends. If we did it before we started the job. Yeah, I honestly think that'll play yeah. happen. But we'll see. Daniel leaks a lot. Make sure we check out his YouTube channel. Just do a search. Daniel leaks a lot. HVAC. I'll also put a link in the description box for his channel. Please show the support to Daniel. He just surpassed 40,000 watch hours. 
4,000. Oh, 4,000. 4,000 watch, watch hours in the history of his channel. And what that means, when you have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you can monetize the channel. Which means, then you will get a little fat check from Google once a month, once he's approved. It's very nice. It's a way to show support for the YouTube creators. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, thumbs up, comment, and share with others. You're noticing you were using a regular B tank right here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, with the turbo torch set up on it. We don't have any, any wet rag on anything because the temperature is that low. Not worried about burning anything. But I love the, oh, the Stay Bright 8 by Harris Corporation. It's really, really, really nice. And yes, it's rated for 410A. Yeah. You got pressure in the system? Yeah. How much? 243. Okay. I don't hear anything. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. All right. I'm just going to work on the condensate while Daniel is pressurized. Make sure that holds. Splinter. Ow. It hurts. Let's work on the condensate and get this over with. Looks nice, no? I think so. I thought it looks really nice. We've got to put some insulation on here, though. I didn't know that. That when these are an, un an unconditioned space, they need to be insulated. I guess I'll take some insulation and wrap it with insulation. Or the tape. Insulation tape. Oh, yeah. Oh, smart. Yeah, we could do that, too. But other than that, we are just about done no 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 don't go too far now because now you're unprotected there so if there's any condensation that's going to form there it's going to drip into the pan anyway we'll wrap that a little bit as well but very very nice 11 33 same day now we get to clean up and water test and put this cover back on. Yeah, it's a very weird attic stairs. I don't like it either. But what I do like, what I do love, is this very, very, very sexy Bosch three-ton air handler. Wow, gorgeous. And what's even better is the amount of money that this family is gonna save in their energy consumption. Bill, wow, incredible absolutely incredible stop paying high prices for oil heating get a Bosch or heat pump system for your home all right we got water we got water flowing took a water bottle and all of our water is going down the drain excellent Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, now we get the cleanup process going on here. And then we start her up. All right. Took my pictures from my service pal mobile dispatching and invoicing app. There's my air handler. There's the sticker. All right. This looks really, really nice. I'm very pleased the way this installation came out. Very, very beautiful. All we have to do now is get rid of everything from up here and bring it downstairs. Very, very, very nice. Look at how sexy this machine looks. Beautiful. And we did a nice transition with the ductwork right there. Really, 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 really nice. I couldn't be more pleased. All right, let's head on downstairs. Bring the paperwork for the homeowner. Tool bag. My knee pads. And get up out of here. All right. 11.42.43. We're doing a vacuum down process. 713 microns. It's gonna be a while, looks like. Maybe a good time for some lunch. Or a donut. <laughs> but very, very nice installation. We replaced the disconnect, replaced the whip. Oh, they gave us a three-quarter whip, huh? Those were annoying to work with. 
Like, what is the purpose of a three-quarter whip? It's so annoying. It's so annoying. But we have the nice new line set covers on there with the wall outlet. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. BDK. All right, I'm going to show something to Daniel that I picked up over the weekend. It's pretty massive. Daniel, I want to show you something. It's pretty massive. How heavy is it? Oh, wow. <laughs> the Milwaukee M18 extra heavy duty, high output. The HD 12.0. This thing is like bigger than your head. Imagine. I don't really see the purpose for one that big though. Well, your leaf blower. Let's say you had to blow uh, like 50 condensers on a roof, right? This thing will last. Let's say you had to drill, you know, several holes through masonry, thick holes. Oh, this will yeah, last. Yeah, but isn't your Milwaukee thing uh, plug in? No, but I have also have the, the rotary hammer too. That's M18. I don't know. I saw it. I thought it was How nice. Long does it take to charge? Uh, probably, probably ten years. As long as the navy takes to die. <laughs> oh, wait, that'd be oh, the uh, they put the it, whip. Like, dead center. That would be perfect because then you're right in between. You know, you can always drill a new hole. You know, the knockout for the uh, the whip. Yeah. Or you can get a uh, knockout punch tool. Oh. All right. We're at 308 microns. Time to uh, dump the charge from the condenser into the rest of the system. Daniel's gonna isolate. And now we're gonna open up the charge. He's doing the suction side first, it looks like. Nope, the liquid side first. Okay, I'll turn the pump off. that settle in and then we'll do the startup sequence for the heat pump condenser so we're gonna add a pound of 410a to the system we're gonna do the the weigh-in method based on the length of the line set and then we'll double check with our sub cooling and since it's a 72 degree day we'll be able to charge with sub cooling very nice very very nice nice stuff all right power is on we'll let this thing start up for about 15 20 minutes and then we'll check the charge what's nice about the control board is it'll tell us the sub cooling right at the board itself it's a very very nice feature love that and we'll verify or we'll double check that with Daniel's field piece, the S Man manifold. He likes the field piece. I, I prefer. Like I know you do, but I wish it had like wireless clamp-on temperature probes. You can do that. I just prefer the wire because I always. The wireless just annoys me. Yeah, but look, it also turns off randomly. <laughs> well, that's because I have that on in a setting. Ah. I'm gonna forget to turn it off. Okay. So right now, just our condenser fan is running. Our pressures are both equal. Did you hold force yet? I did not do anything. If you want to hold down force, knock yourself out. You get that little sideways little T. And then it'll ramp up to the set frequency. And at which point, that's at 100%. And we'll be able to check the proper charge. So earlier in the, today's install... We spoke about some myths and just some false rumors about heat pumps and heat pump technology. And one of them was the noise. And now that we have the unit up and running, tell me what you hear. They say heat pumps are noisy. The only thing that you hear right now is wind. 
So we do have a nice little wind. See, look at the trees blowing around. But this thing is quiet. So if you think heat pumps are noisy, well, think again. Again, another untrue myth. The earlier units, though, were quite bulky, unattractive, and very noisy. But today's high-tech heat pumps are engineered with noise reduction features and generally make them no more noisy than a common household refrigerator. And here we are, we're at 100%. And by the way, which is pulling about four or five amps of power. And it sounds just as quiet as my Sub-Zero. It's at 100%, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's quiet. And that makes Bosch an amazing option if you're considering getting rid of your oil-based furnace or boiler and get an energy-efficient Bosch heat pump. So we were sitting around with this thing putzing around and it seemed like we were in heat mode because the discharge air was kind of hot. It was kind of cold. So with the Nest thermostat, you have to go into heat pump type and you go from O to B, right? The reversing valve and energizes B instead of O. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, the energizing the wire. So the, before it was energizing the reversing valve and it thinks it was in cooling mode, but it was actually in heating mode. So now the unit turned off, it's going to reverse the valve, which is up in there. And then after a short period, we're gonna be in the right mode, which is cooling. I don't know if this is right though, but it says Google. O reverses the valve from heating to cooling and B switches the valve from cooling to heating. So we needed B because it was in heating mode, right? Yeah. When it thought it was in cooling mode, but we needed B to be energized to open or reverse the valve. So it'd be in cooling mode. That's basically what it said, right? Yeah. Look at that nice summer 2022 shirt. All right, now, Peter, drop, start doing push-ups. And remember, hashtag love Bosch. Here we go. You, as, until you pass out. And I will compensate you for your time. How many? see how many you could do. We could try that next. And him. And him. Okay, hold on. The community has already guessed at this point. It is 11... Sorry, it is 12-16. Closest without going over is going to win some stuff, some swag. Okay? So, Mr. Homeowner, how many think, how many push-ups do you think Peter Pan could do before he passes out? 28. 28. 11. I got 55. Wow. You've been going to the gym on my dime. Show me the money. Just make sure your knees are not on the floor. Very wet right now. So go over there. Want to go? Want to go somewhere else? Dude, How about this? How about we, we give you this? He's not doing girl push-ups. He has to get on his. No, feet. with his knees on there, so he doesn't get his knees wet. No, they're already wet. Just just tell me if my back is straight, because you know how we usually want to just do, push do your push-ups. Just do your push-ups. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Is my, is my back straight? Your back's good. Here we go. Now we're gonna do the military count. <laughs> tell me if my first one's good. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You've count? Seven. Seven. You sure? Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't think he's going to make 11. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, he's turning red. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need to position. 14. No, you don't. You, once you start, you can't move. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, no. He always stands on the ground. Really? No, that's it. Yeah, now your knees. My back really hurts. Your back really hurts. How many was that? 22. You won! Yeah. We're going to send you a, a, a Pipe Doctor Let's Go Bosch t-shirt. I think you need a large, right? 
Or medium? Large. Let me get you a large. All right. Whoever guessed 22 exactly is going to get a hat and a shirt. Three runners up are going to get shirts. And Peter is going to autograph them if you want. Who wants to go next? He does. I bet you I could do more than him. You definitely yeah. probably. Yeah. You can too as well. Well, we'll save that for another day. We'll have a competition. You know what? We got to see Mike G do some push-ups. That would be epic. He has, he has big forearms. I don't know. Yeah, you know, because he schleps the, 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 the sewer machines all over the place. Okay. All right. We're still waiting for this thing. We heard a little click. You can blame it on the nest. Yeah, I hate nests. Yeah, I hate nests. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It heard us talking about it. Very nice. So let this thing start up. And we'll get on with the program. Congratulations to all winners. Thank you very much. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, please consider subscribing and support the channel. Comment, notification bell, sharing is caring. Remember, I love you and you love me. Let's go, Bosch. Now let's demystify or de debunk. debunk another lie that heat pumps are costly to operate. We have a clamp on amp meter. And we're running at 3.7 amps. Look at that. 3.7 amps. Now, again, years ago, we're talking about decades ago, heat pumps, you know, also relied on electric backup heaters, you know, in the coldest winter temperatures. But today's, today's energy efficient and especially low climate models are significantly more cost effective to use year round. Plus, they're just tits. Look at this. You're at 3.3 amps of power with this bad boy running. If you had a compare, you know, to compare this, let's compare apples to apples. The Ream or the Rude Prestige that we took out of here with two compressors, right? When that thing is running at full speed, probably close to 40 amps of power. 40 amps. We're less than a fraction of power. A fraction of power. So not only is this used for cold uh, weather climate, right? Because you don't need electric heat strips because it will operate down to a very low outdoor ambient temperature. We know it's quiet because it's running right now. We know it's a little bit ex of an expense to install over a traditional, you know, central uh, air AC system. But if you got an oil system, which is older, you got to upgrade it anyway, it's a no brainer. You're going to save money right off the get go. So imagine you want to replace your boiler and your air conditioning. This is a no brainer. This is much cheaper. Right? And the energy savings is significant. So when you factor in rebates and other incentives, this becomes a very, very affordable option. Consider Bosch for your next HVAC system and get rid of that oil, fossil fuel beast, that wildebeest in your basement. All right, right now, Peter is schooling me. I'm gonna show you what he's schooling me in. He's schooling me in the use of TikTok. We're, not, we're learning about hashtags and what's trending, what's not. So, okay, can we play it now? Yeah. I've been a oh, I can't play that. I can't play that on YouTube because then the video get de gets demonetized. So, yeah. So, back to TikTok getting schooled by people. Didn't record a single thing of that. Can you believe this? Not a single thing. You have to do like TikTok, a Pipe stuff. Doctor. Check us out on, on TikTok. Peter is now going to be the TikTok social media manager. He just earned himself a raise. And every day he's gonna create a post, right, for TikTok. Sweet. Tits. People use that one, I know that. I call you it. see, Daniel knows all about this TikTok nonsense. I'm just too old for this crap. TikTok. You're lucky I'm on Instagram. I got I already got too much to worry about. I gotta I gotta create and post and edit. And by the way, it's uncut, uncensored, well it's censored. Raw. I gotta worry about YouTube, I gotta worry about posting to Google, I gotta worry about Instagram. Now I gotta worry about, and then Reddit and all that other nonsense. Now I gotta worry about TikTok. It's TikTok, like, like that, who's that guy? The guy from Texas, um, Roger Wakefield. He's a TikToker. Like, come on, like, how much can you? I have to know plumbing, HVAC, how to run a business, how to make money, how to feed mouths, and then I gotta figure out this TikTok nonsense. People make good money on TikTok. They do. Really? There's like yeah. a, a TikTok creator. Phone. Can I make more on TikTok than I make on YouTube? Because if you have TikTok no videos are short. Because then I could buy a Porsche and a Lambo. TikTok 
TikTok videos are short and everybody's scrolling past them. If, if one person stops and views your video, then that's that's a view. Yeah. That 15 seconds is a full view. Whereas if they watch your YouTube video for 15 seconds, what do you get out of that? Yeah, unless they watch a commercial. Yeah. You're right. You know what? You want to make some bank? Sure. You got to finesse the Pipe Doctor TikTok account. Okay. Can you handle that? I can try it. You, no, no. I not will. try. You mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. Right? Because... Try is like you're already setting yourself up for failure. You're gonna do. You're gonna do it. You're gonna make it happen. Okay. Let's go check out the amperage. Five point three. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. But oh, sorry. It's quiet. It's discharging heat. All we need now is the oh the Bosch Mikey pipe sticker and the nice. You can put the nice one right here. I can put you have the you have the nice one. Yeah. Okay, we'll get the nice one. You get the nice one. I'll get the Bosch sticker. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. Do the honors, Daniel. You deserve it. Look at that. That is the Pipe Doctor Raised Dome Outdoor Rated Sticker. I get my stickers like this Raised Dome. See, it's got a nice little profile right there from Armor Decal. They're in Ontario, Canada. If you are in the market for some something that sets you apart from the rest, check them out. There are details in the description box down below. Armor decal. Tell them Mikey Pipe sent you, and they'll take care of you. All right, there's one more thing we have to do. <laughs> Let's just get that bad boy right there, one-handedly. Look at that. And look, that's a Bosch IDS 2.0 condenser. Hashtag love Bosch. If you want any stickers, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. Daniel, we just completed another great job. What's left? Go! Oh. All right, guys. It is 1.01 p.m. We just left about a minute ago. I am heading back to the shop to dump all the garbage. Daniel and Peter are on their way to All Island Sheet Metal to pick up ductwork for tomorrow's Bosch IDS 2.0 install. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate the genuine support and continuous support from the community. We are almost at 40,000 subscribers. I cannot be blessed enough to have such great, great viewers and community here. It is epic. Epic, epic, epic. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's install of our first oil to heat pump conversion featuring the Bosch IDS 2.0. What a beautiful machine. And, if, and the numbers do not lie. You know, running at 5.3 amps at 100% inverter, you know, use is just epic. Epic. You have to be, you got to be an idiot to put in something other than a Bosch. Plain and simple. All right, guys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.